want to go camping? What's going on guys? Popping that tent just then felt real good because we have not been camping for a while. It feels like so long. I think it's yep. been about two weeks, yep. but it feels like a really, really long time. <laughs> We've come out to Stockton Lake because uh, it's dog friendly. It's a big, big blue lake here in WA. If you haven't heard of it, it's very popular. Today's video is going to be about, we're, we're thinking of doing a series of everything we ate on our lap around Australia. The oh, way yeah. that we eat was very, very cheap in the end. And it was something that we sort of learned yeah. as we went along. So and it was good food still. Yeah. It wasn't like just tins. Yeah. There's a few tins Tonight's in there. Tonight's a little bit of tins. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't that bad and it's quite like enjoyable and we didn't get sick of the meals. So yeah. we're going to share all of that with you. We're going to share a few meals and you guys will leave comments down below if you enjoy the video. We'll make a part one, two, three, four and however long it goes Or even for. just incorporate more cooking into yeah. our regular vlogs when we're yeah. back on the road full time as well. Yeah. That could be another idea. So, so yeah. we've been driving three and a half hours, I think it is today. I'm starving <laughs> and I'm ready for bed. So let's get dinner. Mm -hmm. This this particular meal we're making tonight will make you tired. <laughs> It'll make you go to oh, sleep. Oh, because of all the carbs, yeah. yeah. So let's get into <laughs> it. Okay, Megan. Okay. What do we got? So we're having a pasta or a pa pasta, as Jack says. Pasta. You say it funny though. What's the name of the dish? I don't what know. do we call it? Pasta a la Megan. Pasta a la Megano. Hey, that's a good one. Pasta a la lazy. So pasta it's literally a la like five ingredients. Yep. I just got that because it was a dollar. You don't need to use any particular type of pasta. Yep. So right, let's get this off here. So you can... Oh, you got more in the bag. Well, I just thought we'll just finish off that and then we'll just use some of that. Okay, so we got salt, spinach, cherry tomatoes, any pasta of your choice, <laughs> bocconcini, the main ingredient, and what tuna, what tuna is tuna it? Tuna in olive oil. Tuna so in olive oil. You don't even need oil for this recipe. Sorry, non-tuna lovers. If you want to get a bit fancy with it, we have been known to add a bit of lemon rind and lemon juice and then i was thinking today as well although i didn't want to like break the budget you could add a leek or some kind of mild yeah. onion would be really nice as well yeah. how sad does that sound that a leek would break our budget but <laughs> we're trying to keep things low cost around Classic. here so first thing boil the water so we can get our pasta in second is well i just get like some oil from the yeah. tuna straight in the pot how do you turn this on? Oh, okay. Look like how new so fancy this is our, barbecue does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fancy new barbecue. It so. looks very like space space age compared. I think it, maybe just because it's clean though. It's good size. It keeps <laughs> the pots well. Okay, so you push that in, twist it, and you press. It's got an electric igniter. Oh, so prep. Press that. Uh, no, not that one. This one. Right here, I'll do it. So okay. ready? You should, when I press this button. There you go. Hey. Fancy. Nice. <laughs> Classic. Easily impressed though. All right. All right. Cherry tomatoes go in, so you put a bit of oil from the tuna. Mm -hmm. Cherry tomatoes straight in. Can't be bothered washing them, don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> and what's next? So you boil them up? Yeah, so you basically just do them until they're like, you know, falling apart. Yep. And then you chuck in your tuna. Yep. And then you chuck in your spinach. Mm hmm. And. Spinach last, eh? Because yeah. uh, otherwise it will. It will well, Is basically, it wilt, it like, as much? soon as these are done, and your pasta's done, your whole dish is done. It takes yeah. like five minutes. So basically as soon as your pasta's done, the whole dish is done. Yeah, and, and the bocconcini melts and it just creates this beautiful sauce. Yeah, and secret ingredient that we often forget, but it does make a world of difference is once you when your pasta's cooking, scoop out a bit of the pasta cooking water because the starch from your pasta cooking water helps your sauce 
emulsify or whatever the word is. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it all comes together really nicely. All so, right. so yeah, like five ingredients. It's not healthy. No. I mean, that's why we put the spinach in it to kind of feel a little bit healthy, but <laughs> you take what you can get. I mean, what does it work out to be? Three dollars a serve. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. And it lasts for lunch as well. If yeah, you want it for lunch. Yeah, it makes four serves. Yeah. But while we while we uh, wait for the pasta and tomatoes to cook, we've got to deal with this little child who will not give up with his stick. He, the stick went over there, he runs over there. <laughs> You're a banana. Anybody that's wondering how short Megan is, here you go. I need a little step. It's, it's a, ridiculous. We've got the troopy with the two inch lift. We've got the Max Trax table with the barbecue on it. And she's on her tippy toes. <laughs> And her head just don't go on your tippy toes. Where are you at? <laughs> she I can't, can't even, even see inside the pot. I'll let you know how this. So the tomatoes are softening up now. Yeah, so I just sort of squish them. Yeah. That's how you oh. want them. Oh, there you go. That's how you want them, and that's how you know when what is ready to go in. Next. Well, you basically just chuck everything in there. All right, Megan. Is there a bug on my face? No. Okay. <laughs> Dinner is served. Um, I forgot an ingredient as well. Yeah. I was thinking the whole time I swear I'm forgetting something and it was just a little bit of tomato paste. Yeah. And don't put as much pasta cooking water in as I did. I mean it's not too bad but it's a little bit watery. What does it look like? It looks like a big mush. Yeah. <laughs> but, I think most of our food does to yeah. be honest. <laughs> but it's good. And guys look at these bamboo bowls. So Megan and I had a little, little business idea. But, uh, and we imported these from a company and they are really, really good because we're getting so many messages about these bamboo bowls and uh, we just thought, well, why, would, why don't we try and sell a few? So we bought them in and they're way too expensive to bring in. But if we get enough feedback here now, we might bring in a limited amount so we can help everyone out. <laughs> we'll sell them to you. Actually, leave a comment down below and tell us what you would pay for a bowl like that. Now, it's very good quality. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> they are good quality. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to sell it to you. So our original ones that we get all the questions about yeah. that we took on our lap from IKEA, and yeah. I every time someone asked me, I would say, yeah, they're really good for this sort of thing because our plate that we bought from BCF Anaconda that are typical camping plates yeah. are so scratched up and scuffed yeah. and look terrible but the bamboo bowls look perfect. They lasted so. the whole lap of Australia so. Yeah. Like bouncing around in our back drawer. Yeah but IKEA gets them in in bulk so that's yeah. how they sell them so cheap but we're thinking. But these ones are nice. They, yeah they're nicer. <laughs> <laughs> so leave a comment down below and let us know how much you'd pay for one of these bowls. It'd be very interesting to know. All right. What but are we doing now? Is Eddie? Probably never going to happen. <laughs> the business is probably never going to take off. We are going to enjoy our dinner and we'll see us in the morning for breakfast. Ollie well, needs dinner too. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Can I hear a good little boy? Oh, well, he. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Breathe all night and move the whole car left and right. <laughs> yeah, look, he's happy about that. Good morning, Megan. What's on the menu this morning? Morning. We have pancakes today, which oh, I'm very yeah. excited about. Um, this wasn't actually something that, well, we did do it pretty often, but the main thing we ate on our lap was granola every morning but we decided for this video we would do a bit more actual cooking instead of just throwing granola in a bowl like we usually would so yeah so we've got pancakes it's another today. it's another kind of hard one to make but well that's what i was thinking it gets you excited for the morning it's kind of the opposite of last night's um last night's recipe so last night i think we had about four ingredients and today we've got about 500 yeah but i'll show you just the basic version first so Literally all you need to make them is just a banana and then two eggs. Yep. Okay, and then this isn't open I wonder if I'm gonna make How's it. our little troopy kitchen? A mess of this. Living the dream mate. I really did miss it. It's nice to have a sink and running water, but I did miss 
living in the turkey. Living in the turkey. Definitely. So I'm gonna do half a cup of oats. Yep. So you got oats and baking powder. So that's just your basic recipe. That'll make you pancakes. How many? How but much oats did you put in? Half a cup. Half a cup. So yeah, that'll get you like two pretty big, like decent sized pancakes. But we like to get a bit uh, fancy with it. Yep. So the extra ingredients we'll put cinnamon. Oh, I thought we'd run out then. Cinnamon. Yep. We put some. Double check your cinnamon because it might be chili. Oh, chili yeah, flakes. We did that once. Okay, this sounds weird, but just trust me on this. Chickpeas. Yeah. Mmm, delicious. So the reason we put these in is one for some extra like volume, so we can have some massive pancakes, and two because they're really high in protein and really good for you. So if we can sneak veggies into something, then yep. that's what we're going to do. And again, just a little bit more protein in the form of protein powder. But this. We we took a tub of protein powder to start our lap, and then once we ran out of that, we never replaced it. So this is definitely not an essential part of the ingredient. No, but it definitely of the recipe. Sorry, adds a bit of taste. It's good. Yeah, because that's vanilla flavored. Yeah. So it definitely gets rid of any chickpea flavor that might be lurking. There you have it. Oh wait, and then we just add some more egg white for some more protein, and like to help it blend a bit better as well. Megan's going to do a blog post on our website. Just of these pancakes or of, of everything? All the recipes. Oh, okay. Got my work cut out for me then. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even plan it, but she is now. Because that's confusing. That's uh, that's a lot of ingredients. So we'll get it written down for you. Yeah. But Definitely. those first four ingredients I put in, you can make pancakes with that. Yeah. Now we leave Megan to blend. All of that uh, nutritious goodness. Turn the car on, buddy. Oh, yeah, we our AGM battery is gone. We drove for three hours yesterday and it was on 10 volts within five minutes, so something's not right. But anyway, we'll suss it out. Hey, Ollie, first thing he does when he gets out, straight to his stick. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, better take it out of reverse. Get that out. There we go. All right. What's the bet the car doesn't start now? Oh god. There you go. We'll give it a few minutes. Alright, over at the stove. Stove? Barbecue. Stove? <laughs> over at the camp barbecue. We got our banana cut up to go on top. Clean strawberries and grapes. And another very good ingredient we use is coconut oil. Now it's oh, your it's your much. choice, that's perfect. <laughs> More the better. So just chuck your coconut oil on. So, I'm so, good. I'm just yeah. uh, so do as I say, not as I do. So I will have to do that blog post because I did this wrong today. But what'd you do wrong? Well, I think it's a bit liquidy. I think I put too much egg white or not enough. Yeah. Like we said, it is um, a hard mix to get. Yeah. It, it, if I'd put it in the fridge for ten minutes, it would have been all right. But yeah. it's definitely no, it looks good. a lot of it. Yours or mine first? Because yours will be bigger. Oh, you, whatever. Let's see what happens. Mine. Yep. There it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, how hungry am I? <laughs> That's it, now you just literally just let it sit for a few minutes. I think people know how to cook. Yeah, but the coconut oil just works its magic. And it just does something. Maybe a little, little bit. little bit more. There you have it. Pancakes. <laughs> pancakes for breakfast and the most important thing is coffee so we're gonna sit down and have some brekkie and we uh, had a chat last night we are gonna go and do a little bit of uh, exploring eh? just a little bit because yeah. I think it's a nice hot day today so we're yeah for a swim. we're gonna do a bit of exploring it is uh, a bit hard with Ollie but there's a few places around here that we can go and see eh? yeah This is the finished product. I just put some cinnamon, coconut, yogurt, and honey, and some walnuts on top. And it's delicious. Probably really cold though, because we we're trying to get coffee yeah. shots and stuff. Look at mine. Mine's turned out like a. No, he's flipped it over. Like Did you burn the other side? Professional. 
a professional pancake. There oh, you, you go. Uh, All that's burnt still up. Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. The uh, it still tastes good though. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna have our brekkie, and we'll see you in a bit. All right, Megan, what is next? Well, for lunch, we don't actually have lunch that often, to be honest, no. but when we are feeling like it, we um, don't actually usually cook. So we're poaching chicken now, but usually we would like have leftover chicken from a salad that we done for yep. dinner or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna make some chicken wraps, but just gonna wait for that to cool down. And we're at Black Diamond Lake and it is so beautiful. So good. Now Look at this place, quiet mate. quiet here today as well, considering it's school holidays, so. You can hear the crickets in the background. I think while we're waiting for that to cool down, I'm gonna go for a swim. There, Megan. I just face so bad. <laughs> it's all slippery clay, eh? Yeah. All right, let's get back up here and make these wraps. I'm starving. Ollie, do you like chicken? Okay, lunch. How to make a wrap? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy really needs to. A... What's this stuff called again? Cupy mayo. Put some cupy mayo on there. AKA heaven in yeah. a bottle. We just use these wraps here, sourdough wraps, but honestly. We you... just basically grab whatever's on special. Whatever really. you want, mate. And we just shred our chicken up. They only had tenderloins this time because the old COVID's uh, oh, the doomsdays are out. playing games with us. Um, there was only tenderloins left, so we had to pay a little bit extra. But normally it'll be a chicken breast we poach up uh, with a bit of salt. So shred your chicken up. Like oh yeah, so. I brought stock cubes to put in that mixture, but I forgot to put them in. Delicious. Oh well. Next will be some cucumber for a bit of crunch. Please don't speak with the mouthful. <laughs> And then some avocado and tomato. Megan is the weirdest person about eating. I don't think it's that weird. Really. She she can't have like the way I've just done it. Megan would not have done it like well, that. Yeah, but I just you know I just like to have my food the way that I like to have it. She, I don't think it's that weird. <laughs> I think every, there's a lot of people like that. If uh, you know if we're having like a roast or something like that, I don't like things touching. <laughs> Classic. That's what I might be calling myself out here a little bit, but um, she doesn't like yeah. her food touching and she has to put her food on a certain way. And I'm sure there's a few of you guys watching that are exactly the same. A few weirdos like me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm the weirdo and you guys are normal. No, I think it's definitely so. Good. I put cheese and lettuce on there, and we've got some spinach on here. A bit of iron in your diet. You're not going to be able to wrap that. Watch me, mate. I used to work at Chicken Treat, chicken guys, treat so represent. I was pretty good at this. Still got paint on my hand from the FJ. <laughs> I've got paint everywhere right. from the FJ. Here we go. Watch this, mate. Get your hands on it. Look at that. Nicely done. A perfect wrap for a big day's work. weekend getaway is Mylark Beach. Yeah, a little bit of fog driving. We're going to uh, enjoy the sunset there today and we're going to show you probably the cheapest and easiest and uh, uh, the most common dinner we say, ate on the road. Yeah, last night's was definitely the easiest but we... I got that out. We finally. ate, <laughs> yeah, we ate this two yeah, times yeah. a week, every single week on our lap. 
just because yeah. it's cheap and, and never, it tastes good. We never actually ate it before we left on our lap. Yeah. It was something we never ate at home and it actually gave us energy and made us feel better. Yeah. It definitely helps. And made me fart a bit in the beginning as well, but <laughs> we'll show you later. Hey, we all fart. <laughs> regular viewer of the channel you might have guessed tonight is burrito bowls great <laughs> the old burrito bowl so we're just grating up some zucchini and carrot two two carrots tonight one zucchini yeah and hopefully what we can do is drop it straight in our pot so this is another great one that you can literally just chuck everything in a pot and no matter what way you cook it, it's going to come out all right. Yep. We just do have some rice cooking as well. And if you want to get really fancy with it, you can fry off some garlic before you put your rice in. Have some garlic rice. We couldn't be bothered with that today, but... Um... You can also utilize the wraps that we had for lunch uh, and yeah. make burrito... Burritos? Wraps. To make, for lunch I think it's the just next called day. a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's healthy as well. And we normally don't add meat to it, but you, you definitely can. Yeah. Um, we just we, have all we these were, beans. So yeah, we've we, got black beans, yeah. red beans, and then we add some corn. At the start and, of the trip, we were putting meat in it, yeah. but then it's too expensive. Yeah, because so. we yeah we started off with a little bit of turkey mince, and then we just sort of phased our meat out, and now we don't miss the meat at all. We're at Mile Up Beach, <laughs> and it is stunning once again. All the fishermen are rocking up because the tailor is pretty good here, apparently. I know because I've caught them here. But yeah. And if you can catch them here, anyone can. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, we're going to cook away and we'll show you the finished product. Alrighty, dinner is ready. It's all done. So I did forget to say what spice thing we use. That's not what we use every time. We basically just get whatever's cheapest. Yeah, it's your choice. It would be a lot cheaper if you were handy and made your own Mexican seasoning with, um, what is it? It's basically just like cumin, paprika and chili. Yeah. But even with buying that, this is like $2.20 a serve. Yeah. So it's very, very cheap. Again. It's when you're on the road full time, it's all about how quick you can cook your food. Yeah, that's the best thing about this as well. And you can cook this on the campfire as well. We've literally just chucked everything in the pot yeah. and yeah, it cooks really nice. It's not just about how quick your tent pops up, it's how quick you can cook <laughs> your food as well. So, Alright, so you yeah, chuck the rice in. Serve up, we just serve just do rice. And then a bit of, have a look at this. It does look like dog food, but it tastes really, really good. How much is it per... I serve? said that already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Like two bucks or something. Were you listening? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> was only was yeah. everyone else listening? About $2.20. <laughs> and Plus then it. we just put some cucumber and tomato on top, and yeah. you could do sour cream as well. Yeah. But yeah. It's delicious. Easy. But guys, we're going to end the vlog there. Thank you very much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. We had yeah. fun with this one. Let we, us know in the comments. Yeah, we definitely yes. want to make another one. Um, yeah. Or just, yeah, incorporate more cooking into our vlogs, vlogs when yeah. we get, yeah. I'm so keen to get back on the road full time because I miss vlogging like this. Yeah. We're aiming for March. Yeah, don't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. See how it goes. Obviously, we're doing the FJ videos, but yeah. it feels a lot different to be talking to you guys like this instead of in a yeah. loud warehouse. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And yep. we will see you next see you episode next in the warehouse. <laughs>